M62 TUB44 1999 to 2003 V8 BMW engine water cooled uh, alternator seized up on me it just seized up on me I don't know why so in order to get to it you just uh, get the fan out of the way some of these hoses it's not complicated and this is where it sits this is its um, seat you remove these bolts around it and it just pulls out this is how it looks like this one's actually good I bought this uh, from the junkyard used one so I just wanted to show you how it looks all complete so I already took it apart I'm gonna tell you how it's done really easy you take this nut out once you take that out you're gonna scrub this uh, silicone here I use this L pick and then you, you're gonna be there's gonna be four Torx bolts that look like this they're gonna have Loctite on them so I had to destroy three of them to remove basically drill them out and only one came out fine so it's gonna look like this then you're gonna take these two out so you basically all this part comes out you're gonna unbolt the voltage regulator so you get this part right here mine was seized up see this part was rubbing against this part here inside and reason why because this bushing this plastic bushing that fits inside of here that holds the rear bearing this bearing completely dis disintegrated or melted I don't know why probably due to high temperature when you put a discharged battery inside your car it's gonna put such a high load on the alternator it's gonna heat it up pretty fast it's gonna start melting things so this is the new bushing that I bought from eBay for twenty dollars actually delivered I didn't have to buy the whole kit there's a, like a master kit where you get this part you get the regulator you get the two bearings this one you can just remove by your hand but on the bottom one the bottom one you'll have you'll need to have a puller both these bearings are fine on my alternator and it looks like the damage did not eat through this part inside of here so all I had to buy is this plastic spacer bushing for the lower bearing that should fix it usually this this is all reliable I mean this alternator is really reliable it doesn't go bad that often and only time the only thing that goes bad on it is this stupid bushing uh, bearings are really high quality they stand so I didn't have to buy anything else just that bushing so I'm gonna uh, install it back in there now and I went to the hardware store and I bought uh, four new screws but uh, they they have the Phillips head that work and I put some Loctite on them plastic bushing is installed inside of this housing now I'm gonna put back uh, this part in there Don't forget to put this horning back on here. That seals the bearing from outside. Now what is left is to put the silicone back on here and over here. What kind of silicone I'm gonna use? Well just the regular kitchen oil-based clear silicone it says right here that that uh, maximum operating temperature is 400 Fahrenheit so that'll work I'm gonna do that now after silicone this is how it looks now put the pulley back on there
I use the air gun to screw it back on there. And that will be all. I'm going to let that one dry. Probably going to install this one. And use the one that I just uh, rebuilt um, for spare. If you like the video, subscribe. See you next time.